What up, HyperChange? Welcome to another episode. Today, we're talking about Tesla's new solar roof. Just got off the press call with Elon Musk that is announcing the launch of this new V3 version of the technology they originally unveiled three years ago when they were acquiring Solar City. This is a super, super exciting announcement despite all of the crazy news that happened uh, in the Tesla world this week with the earnings report, um, the stock soaring. Um, this product announcement sort of came out of the blue. You know, a month ago, Tesla launched their solar panel rentals for both residential and commercial. That left a lot of us scratching our head about the future of the solar roof product, which has been touted as you know the future of solar residential solar by Elon Musk, and had even said that by the end of 2019, we we're supposed to get V3 ramping. Well, we hadn't heard anything about that, but apparently Tesla was keeping it very close to the vest. Um, and then today basically unveiled that they are launching uh, the, you know, officially the solar roof v3 you can order it they're going to start installing it the ramping production quickly it's basically ready to go for the mass market so in this episode I want to briefly run down the most important points from this call and then go into the financial impact this product could have because i think that's really really exciting and elon uh, let some really really fascinating numbers slip uh in the q a and so the vision of this solar roof, or as they're calling it now, the solar glass roof, is to make roofs come alive. Right now, roofs are gathering sunlight but doing nothing with it. Elon's like, we need to convert that sunlight into energy. What is the future we want? A neighborhood with roofs producing energy that look beautiful, that are robust, resilient, um, and actually powering the houses they shelter. And he says that in 20 years, if we think about the neighborhoods that we want to live in, this is the future that we should all be striving for. So I love that high-level uh, vision of the solar roof, you know, integrating that energy generation, but making it look beautiful. Then they go on to describe the sort of cost structure of the solar roof, saying that it really only makes sense um, if you're getting a new roof or want to replace your roof and are planning to do solar. And the entire pricing strategy of the V3 solar roof is they want to make it cheaper than getting a new roof with solar panels. It's just better to get the integrated solar roof. So that makes Tesla's solar strategy make a lot of sense. They're saying, okay, if your home is, you know, you just got a new roof, you don't need to replace it for another decade or two, then it makes sense to retrofit solar panels. But if not, and you're going to pay all that money to replace your roof anyway, you might as well go for the solar roof. And they talk about how difficult a product this was to develop. Roof half, roof has to last a very long time. They have solar cells, wires. They need to make sure this is all safe. It's constantly producing the power. It's not a risk to the house. It will last decades. Elon even says hopefully 30 years or more, although they did change the warranty from infinity, which is kind of absurd, to uh, 25 years. So that's that. Um, and they said basically it just wasn't easy to do accelerated life testing. And that's why it took so long to get this product to market. The other huge innovation that was made in the solar roof was the installation process. This is a huge um, friction uh, to actually getting the solar roof up and running. They're even doing like sort of roof hackathons where they have two identical houses. Um, they're basically competing to see who can install the solar roofs most efficiently in, um, inside of Tesla. They're also trying to bring in some of the best roofing teams in the country to try and give this a shot, not just internally. Then they let out a tidbit about this. They don't want to just have Tesla installing this. They actually want to open this up to third-party installers, which I think is a huge, huge tidbit. Um, and they say that unlike the vehicles, which can only be bought through the Tesla stores or online at tesla.com, this roof product will be sold out so third parties can actually install it. And he says this just makes sense. It will be a very powerful driver of demand and allow them to grow much, much faster. They also then go on to mention the Gigafactory 2 in Buffalo, which was purchased with the Solar City acquisition that it's where the solar glass roof is going to be built. Um, Elon also thanks the team there and says this is a really, really cool product. And basically at the end of the day, the goal with this is that if you're gonna get a new roof, this is the most financially compelling thing you can get. Then they go into the Q&A and talk about the changes that were made from V1 to V2 to V3. Apparently, uh, Drew, the new CTO, comes on and says lots of changes um, to achieve the goals that we wanted. Uh, key points was increase this actual size of the tile and the power density and dramatically reduce the parts and sub-assembly of the tile more than in half, which is dramatically lowering the cost, making this easier to manufacture and install. They also changed the materials and methods and tech to achieve the hidden solar cells to something that's more scalable. And they talk about how one of the hardest things to do is make it so the light and the solar energy actually hits those panels, but it still looks beautiful from the outside. So really just no matter what angle you look at the house from, the roof should look the same and very aesthetically beautiful. The other big thing Drew talks about is installation time. They wanted to achieve a time that was faster than solar panels and even improve 
the overall installation time of a roof in general. And a key part of the uh, installability is how to get parts from the factory to the roof and how we put them on the roof. Lots of innovation on that. Trimmings of the roof, they talk about how in early versions there was very custom handcraft. Now they've sort of made that ready for the mass market, much more scalable. They even want to get this down to a point where they can install the entire roof in eight hours. You go to work and come back and you have your brand new solar roof. Next question, when is this ready for wide residential adoption? Elon says that they're ramping this basically now. They're, they're ramping it as fast as they can. They want to get to a thousand roofs a week as fast as possible. Elon says basically we're predicting demand to far pace, outpace supply uh, going forward. Very hard to predict the actual production ramp of that because it's an S curve, but it sounds like they're they're trying to get to a thousand per week very shortly, then eventually 10,000 per week, then 20,000 per week. And then Elon says the addressable market for roofs is a hundred million houses worldwide. They are starting with that black textured glass, new variants of the roof every six to nine months, an earth tone or clay tile um, sort of uh, style is the one that they're working on next. They also have a French slate uh, one in the works. Then Kyle from Clean Technica asked a question about costs and specifically the improvement from V2 to V3. And they talk about how V2 was extremely expensive and they weren't really making money on it. Um, it was, wasn't worth scaling and really investing in that product. That's why the R&D process took so long. They wanted to reiterate, get that version three, something where they can get the cost below the average um, roof plus a retrofit solar panel. That was the target and that's what they have achieved with this. And that's why they feel good about this cost structure and are going big with this version of the solar roof. Also, um, in an answer to like Tesla Kim, Elon talks about how this is sort of a weird product and that no one was really making a solar roof and it just sounds strange, but he was like, the thing is we need this product, so we're going to make it, but there's never really been a product like this. And that's sort of what made this so challenging and why it took so long. And they talk about sort of the efficiency relative to normal solar panels, which I think is really, really interesting. And basically the granularity, although the actual efficiency of the cell is slightly lower, Elon says about 10% now, but they want to get that, get that in the single digit percentages. The solar roof actually has the ability to get you more energy from your roof because you don't have just a big panel you have to fit. And if you look at pretty much any house with solar, you notice a huge portion of the roof is doesn't have panels on it just because they didn't fit proportionally. So the much smaller tiles allows for much more granularity to cover a lot more of the roof. And therefore, even the efficiency at the actual cell level is a little worse, your energy production could actually be higher. And then Drew goes on to, to say they didn't, a key innovation on the sort of back end core technology is they didn't want to be married to one type of solar panel. So they made this very easy as new solar technologies come out and the panels get more efficient, the solar roof product will be easily, you know, get, take these new panel technologies and integrate them into the product. So it's not tied to that legacy technology. Then Hope King from Cheddar has some great questions about the pg e blackouts and how those are catalyzing uh, sort of interest in these solar products and the power walls. And Elon says, yes, definitely we're seeing an increase in interest. Basically, if you turn someone's power off, they can't charge their phone. They can't charge any of their electronics. pg e just announced they're going to do more blackouts. I mean, I think this is a really interesting trend playing in Tesla's favor that could be a huge tailwind to not only to getting the solar, but also everybody, the attachment rates of getting a power wall and power pack with that solar too. So you can really, really go off grid. Then at the end of the, the call, Elon does this little sign off note that I thought was really interesting. It says, we're looking forward to installing millions of roofs. So that brings me to the point of how big of an impact this could have on Tesla. You know, we know they're a multi, you know, 25 billion in revenue the past 12 months, energy generation and storage, only about 400 million in revenue this quarter out of 6.3 billion total. So, you know, eight, 7% of the total business. But in the long run, Elon has said that the energy business could be just as big as the automotive business. And going forward, growing off a much smaller base, we'll have much higher growth rates. I think the solar roof is going to be a huge, huge piece of that puzzle. And if you go to the solar roof website, which looks so, so amazing right now. Um, and I love how they have this graphic here where you can see, um, the, you know, all these little wires and connectors. This is the key innovations they made in the install process is reducing the amount of parts that go into connecting all these little tiles and making that super easy to install. And that's sort of been a big cost breakthrough. They have these interesting pricing comparisons where they say the solar roof is priced at $33,950 for about $7 a square foot or $1.99 a watt versus uh, a premium roof, new roof with solar panels would run you about $43,790. And so what I've been seeing on Twitter also is if, that a lot of people have been waiting for the solar roofs and their price quotes got basically cut in half or a huge decrease in the amount Tesla was quoting their price because of this new tile. So that's a really interesting structure there. Let's just crunch some numbers here. Assuming that 34,000 ASP per solar roof times a thousand roofs a week, we're looking at about 30 million in revenue per week at that 1,000 
$1,000 per week runway annualized, that would be a $1.8 billion revenue stream, which is already about the size of Tesla's entire energy business today. And like Elon said, they want to get to 10,000 solar roofs a week, 20,000 solar roofs a week. When they really ramp this to scale, we're talking about tens of billions of revenue, 20 billions in revenue. I mean, this is a huge, huge product. Like he said, a hundred million roofs. And sure, there's only about, you know, a million, a couple million of those roofs that actually get turned over each year. So it's going to take a long time to really transition a large portion of the population to this type of technology. But the immediate addressable market, like Elon says, demand is going to outpace supply. It's all about how fast they can ramp production. In terms of gross margins on this product, I would assume they're going to be super low to start and then ramp as they scale production, just like a vehicle. Um, but the point is, I, I think at a high level to summarize this episode, really, really exciting stuff to see that uh, Tesla has not abandoned the solar roof. They were just working extremely hard on it. Now they've unveiled it. Now this V3 has huge improvements in the installation process that allow cost savings to make this ready for prime time. They are installing it today in the, in the California area, working on that install process, getting ready to ramp that to a thousand per week, which could be about a billion and a half to two billion dollar revenue run rate, and then scaling from there. So this is a serious needle mover in terms of the financials for Tesla that is going to start picking up in 2020. And I mean, when you start thinking about the tailwinds that are coming for this company, you know, in the vehicle business, Model Y, China Gigafactory, in the energy business with the mega pack, and then solar with the solar panel leasing, and now the solar V3 roof. Uh, so, so, so much excitement going on here. Um, so anyway, that wraps up this review of the solar roof. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, please check out our Patreon page if you want to consider supporting the show. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.